G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're taking a look at the Sunblesser H11 head torch. Now it comes in this hard case, it's already taken out so I'll be honest with you there. I'll show you the case we get with it. Nice soft interior to protect it so you won't be scratching it. A little mesh pocket here to carry the charging cable and your instructions. So, if you're not like me and you carry everything in a case, fairly strong case there to protect it. And if you don't want to use it for your head torch, I'm sure you can use it for something else. What comes in the box with it is instructions, your charging cable, which is USB to USB micro, I believe or whatever you call it, a mini. And the head torch. Now this is my first video. I've not done a review of this one before and the company sent a request out to me asking would I like to review it? So I said, yes please. So here it is. I've had it for a couple of weeks and I just with different things going on. I haven't got around to getting it out properly and having a look, <coughs> excuse me. We have all the instructions here. Charge time uh, is two hours. The net weight, the body on its own is 29 grams with the headband 49 grams. There's two different types You've got the H11 white, red, green, green, sorry, three light mode, or the H11 white, red, two light mode. And I went for the two light mode. Here we go. The when it's on high, uh, high red is eight hours. Low green, thirty hours. High green, six hours. That's if you've got the three light mode. And if you've got the two light, high red, eight hours, low high Cree white, 30 hours, high Cree white, six hours. Uh, go over here, main light, we've got 24 months warranty on it. Uh, and not responsible for man-made damage. So if you damage it, they're not responsible for it, I believe that means. You've got on this side the white light mode, the main light. Uh, the white light, low 2 lumens, middle 38 lumens, high 190 lumens, maximum 365 lumens. We have the runtime in hours. On the 2 lumens, low, it's 200 hours. The middle 38 lumens is 20 hours. The high 190 lumens gives you 5 hours and the maximum of 365 lumens gives you 40 minutes. Now the maximum mode doesn't stay on for that long. It works for 30 seconds and then it becomes the high mode. Uh, that's so, that's it they say, because it gets too hot else. Uh, the high mode uh, keep 30 minutes, then it adjusts down to the middle mode. Yeah, there. Then it adjusts down to the middle mode smoothly in one hour. So it will just reduce over the hour down to it from the 30 minutes. That's how I understand that. Operation instructions. Main light on off button. Uh, short press. White light, low middle, high long press 1.5 seconds maximum of 365 lumens run 30 seconds high mode long press 3 seconds for the strobe any light levels work 3 seconds short press for off and then the R which is on here you've got your normal mode there and then the R I believe runs this, this side the smaller creed lights uh, 
Okay, uh, secondary light on off button short, press white, or if you have the three mode, it'll go green or red. Uh, light low, and it says, and high, high, long press 1.5 seconds, showing battery power, long press 3 seconds, strobe, then short press in 3 seconds, SOS. Any light levels work 3 seconds, short press off. Sounds confusing. I think the easiest way is just play with it. All right, red and green light indicate battery capacity. Long press secondary button for 1.5 seconds. If it's green, it means it's between 150% power left. If it shows red, it's between 50 and 10. And if it's a red light flash, it's between 10 and zero. I understand, understood that bit. Features, pay patents that is. White, green, red, three light source or white, red, two light source. Cree XPG3 LED, max output 365 lumens. Max beam distance, 85 meters. Six brightness levels, three special models selectable. Built in 700 milliampere Leon polymer battery. Memory function for light mode, latest of lowest white light mode runtime up to 200 hours. Low battery, red light flashes reminding. Weight 45 grams, headband included. Okay, so this is it. Your charge port is at the bottom here. A little waterproof cover. At the bottom, I think if you dropped it in water, water would seep in eventually. But as it is now, the way it feels like it fits in there, it's not tight, but it's not gentle. It doesn't flop back into place. You have to give it a slight bit of force to get it in. So we'll see that over time. The top, you've got your normal circle with your line going down for on off and the red one on this side. If we press that and hold, let's, let's get it so I can see what I'm doing. Hold both at the same time and it should flash red light. So that's locked. So do the same thing again. Red light flashes light came on so the main button press it once low twice medium three times high and goes off so we press it once they say if you hold it for was it one and a half what goes on to high go to medium one and a half let go goes on to the high one or what do they call it? The high or the no, the max one? So we'll go one, two, three. That's one, two, three. That's the high. Press for one and a half seconds. Goes on to the max. That was easy to work out. That was good. I want to say hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Goes into strobe mode. Press it once. Stops it. One and a half, one half, max. Cool. That was easy to work out. Now press the other button. We've gone onto the white mode. Press it again. We've gone off. Press it twice. It goes onto the higher version of the white mode. Once more. We press it three times. Press it once, wait. Oh, my eyes gone funny then. Once, and again, one more. There it is, there's the red. I think someone flashes if you hold it one and a half. No, press one, two, 
three, let go. That's it, three presses and it goes into Morse code. I'm putting my hand here so I can see it, the reflection of the light flashing on my hand. Press it again, it just goes into high flash mode and off. And it goes back to the red mode, the last thing it, it had it on. See? So let's try that again. So we go one, run white. Second, again, within the second, goes onto the high version of the white. And it goes off. So press it one, two, straight uh, quickly, goes onto the red. Press the red again, it goes off. One, one, two, three red, one and a half, off. Red, one, two, three, let go. I think one, two, three. Red, one. How did we get that to flash last time? Red, press it and hold it, is it? One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Yeah, three seconds. I wasn't holding it long enough. And go to SOS mode. Then onto the hive. And then off. Again, comes back into the red. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Morse code. One press, high flicker, then off. That's good, I like that. Material, you get the cheap plastics and you get the expensive plastics. This is, I'd say in between, fills. Half decent quality. It looks good, but it's joined together you can't see into it. I've got five adjustments. One, two, three, four, oh, four, five. So going back. One, two, three, four, five. And if you can see in there where the reflective is down the back here. That's where you undo this band, you could take it off. So that's open all the way. The headband feels good. Some of these you get and they just feel like they're stretching and you get the uh, the wave, the ripple down them. The buckle at the back here that the headband runs through. The adjuster at this end. The top bit is fixed. It's the bottom piece here that goes against your head. The back piece that adjusts. Oh, and you can see inside where it comes off too. So that's how you take it all apart. Now this is by accident, as you saw. Let's see how difficult it is to get it back together. Push that through. Pull that through. Oh yeah, that went back together pretty easy. Let's see how comfortable it feels. That actually sits more comfortable than I was thinking. It would. It'd be better if I turned it the right way around, got it upside down. It's, you can feel it moving the top as you adjust it, but it's not pulling it right away when you get the weaker headbands does. So the headband is pretty good. Easy to reach. Two, three, press two, three, flash mode, 
off, high mode down, low, middle, high, to one and a half side I was, onto the maximum, then off, get to the, where am I, here we go, red again, which is on memory, white all the way to the red, yeah that's, because it's longer at the top, your um, main light and then your second view lights here, you're not fumbling to find where you are. There's plenty of room to use these. And like I said, this isn't dropping. You actually gotta get your nail to pull it out. It's, like I said, it's not super stiff. So initial impressions of this, I haven't taken it out yet and I'm not going to jump in the shower to see how waterproof it is. I'm actually going to put it in my pack. So next time I go out I've got uh, a multi-day coming up. And unless there's a chance I've got a uh, subscribers get together too. So I'll use it then. And we are coming into the wet season as well here in Australia. I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay, if you have liked this video and you haven't subscribed, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up. And hit that thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are a subscriber, Again, I thank you very much. So, until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.